हेलो एवरी वन वी आर मंडे फिफ्टीन एंड दिस इज़ आर प्रोजेक्ट अ वायरलेस वाइब्रेशन सेंसिंग नोट फॉर स्ट्रक्चरल हेल्थ मॉनिटरिंग आई एम आईना आई एम मयूरा आई एम यशामती आई एम अश्वंत एंड आई एम भव्या Our device is a vibrational sensing node that can be used by civil engineers to monitor structural health, and this eliminates the uh, disadvantages of a traditional wired system. And our device is housed in an IP65 rated box, uh, which can withstand tough environments like dust, rain, and other difficult environments. so we came across two main challenges when we were designing our device one thing was the data rate of our wifi module was significantly less so to uh, tackle that we also used an sd card in our device which logs data at a higher sampling rate and then we transmit it to the laptop after real time transmission is over so that way the user has access to higher frequency data as well and the second challenge we came across was how do we charge the battery normally ba batteries are charged using wires but since it is a device mounted we needed something which was more efficient and then we came across the wireless charging module which just uses a couple of coils to charge the battery wirelessly our device uses is 3d wb mem sensor which communicates with our microcontroller which is rp2040 via spi For wireless transmission, we are using Zigbee module, which communicates via UART with the microcontroller. For storing data at higher sampling rate, we are using SD card that communicates via SPI, uh, and the higher sampling rate data can be used more reliably for post processing. So we perform two primary validation tests: a shake table based test to benchmark our device with the HD1 development kit, and an impact hammer testing to assess real world performance. The final prototype achieves a transmission rate of 85 hertz, and the SD card data is logged at a rate of 255 hertz. When the transmission is ended, we also send the SD card data onto the laptop and store it in a CSV file. Furthermore, we have also implemented mesh networking with our device. Our wireless module consumes 40 milliampere in active state, and uh, it has a data transmission rate of 85 hertz. But we are thinking of upgrading to a module that has a lower power consumption and a higher data transmission rate. So this device is connected to a concrete block that will simulate an actual concrete structure like a bridge or a tunnel. Now we will hit it with a hammer, and we will observe the vibrations on our laptop. So right now we'll give a demo of our uh, user interface. So we have to uh, click on the port connected first. Then we need to choose the sensor because we're using mesh network we can access multiple sensors data. Right now we're choosing sensor 1. And we use a remote triggering mechanism to start recording data. Now I need to enter a file name which will be stored in the SD card and in in my laptop. once the file name is entered data acquisition starts so it can be seen that when the hammer is hit on the concrete block there is there are significant peaks observed in the graph indicating that there is significant vibration and now once i stop recording there's a dialog box which says the device was on for so on so time seconds and now the data from sd card is transmitted to the laptop it can see that we can see that the data is being received wirelessly from the sd card this will be saved as a csv file in the laptop which can be used by civil engineers for post analysis